everybody, it's Tanya Atomic, and this is another casual mini review for 31 days. Um, this is day 24, and it is The House That Dripped Blood. The House That Dripped Blood is an anthology series um, from short stories written by Robert Block, who's also the writer of Psycho. Um, it stars Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing, um, John Pertwee, um, Ingrid Pitt, and um, some of Denholm Elliott, other people that are well known. Um, it is, it was an interesting one. I liked it. It was an anthology series, kind of like, um, a Tales from the Dark Side, sort of like, um, you know, a bunch of twisted stories all strung together. Um, some of them had some humor, a little bit of humor in it. Um, they were all sort of creepy and sort of fun ones. Um, you know, they were like, they were like f I mean, you know, it's horror, but some of us watch horror for sort of the fun elements. Um, these, these each had, it, it was like colorful stuff in it. Like, like the first one had this really weird killer and then the next one took place in a, a wax museum, that kind of a thing. Um, and then there was this one of like a child who may be creepy or may not be, um, that kind of a thing. And um, I enjoyed this. We both enjoyed this one. It was a lot of fun. I had never seen it before. Well, both of us hadn't seen it before. And um, we liked it. And it's definitely, I'd recommend it, you know, if you like that kind of 70s horror or anthologies. If you're interested in horror anthologies, I think this is a pretty good one. Um, they, the stories all tie together around a house. That's why it's called a house that, um, the house of drip blood. However, Spoiler alert, the house doesn't actually drip blood. And I <laughs> I was disappointed because I wanted to see a house dripping blood in one of the stories. But, I mean, I get it. It was, it's just, you know, it, the meaning is that the house is, um, has a bad history and, um, a history of, of, um, unsavory nature. But I wanted to see the house drip blood. Unfortunately, it doesn't actually, it isn't a literal uh, meaning of the title. <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for today. And uh, we'll be back with number 25.